I started when I was 18, uh, but I, I studied theater in high school, and I really wanted to get into music, uh, but I didn't, and I still don't know how to read, uh, to read music, to read notes. So I, yeah, I just, you know, I work from, from my hearing, and um, so there was no chance to get, uh, to get into the jazz department, so I just went with theater. And when I was 18, I was approached by Iran Sou, um, who's a very, uh, very interesting musician uh, with a long history here. He heard about me through mutual friends that we have and just gave me my first, my first shot at, uh, at the, you know, at the real thing. It took me a while to, to, to come to the center of the stage. Um, I, I was involved in many projects as, as, uh, as a support, and, um, but I kept writing my songs and, and working towards my, my, uh, my debut album. Um, and I think uh, in 2004 it was uh, recorded. Isa Rashdot produced it, and that was, pr that was the beginning. לשרוד את המבול הפעם. כל חיוך יהיה שונה, נגוע. אם אחזור על זה עוד ועוד ועוד, תישארי עשרים שנה, או עד סוף היום. Mabul was actually one of the first songs um, that I, I worked on for my first album. It was called Earthquake. It was written in English. And it was actually, Izar insisted on translating it to Hebrew. And, and it was such difficult work. I had to work with four people to translate a fairly simple song from English to Hebrew to my mother tongue, which is just a strange concept for itself. And, um, and I had to come up with some natural disaster because earthquake, you, you couldn't translate earthquake to Hebrew. It's too long. Uh, so I, uh, we came up with Mabul, which is flood. Um, and it was a song that a lot of people in my shows, I performed for three years with my band before recording the first album, and people were really attached to this song. And when I first played it in Hebrew, they were practically booing me. <laughs> they were so offended that I touched their... Uh, um, but, but, you know, I earned a song in Hebrew, so I have both versions, but I, I usually play the Hebrew version. Um, when it was sung in Hebrew, um, because we have that, because we have to be specific about gender in the Hebrew language, you can't say just general you. You have to say at, which is female, or ata, which is male. So um, when I wrote it in English, I, it was a bit vague. But when translating it to Hebrew, I had to be specific about gender. So I had to uh, um, to say um, you and mean female, um, and. I think it was important for, for a young generation of, of, uh, of lesbians in Israel that were influenced by the song and it kind of gave them a feeling that somebody was writing for them or about them. <laughs> Thank you. 
לדעת, לאפור. 